All right, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Next part, part three, fast reminders. These, these aren't going to always be about fasting, by the way. But I think the first few are, just because of the season. Because fasting is the reason for the season, or, or, or whatever you want to season. It has to do with food. Anyway, we learned about why you should fast. Learned about who you should fast for. Now we want to learn how to fast. Because good intentions plus good knowledge, inshallah, equals good results. Learn about who can fast. Learn about who shouldn't fast. Learn about what negates your fast, what um, you can do to properly enhance it, inshallah. Of course, we know diabetics don't have to fast necessarily, so what do they do to sacrifice for that? It's called fidya, like they feed fasting people, and that's how they sacrifice. Pregnant women don't have to fast. Menstruating women don't have to fast. Um... Travelers don't have to fast. There's so many people who don't actually have to fast. Allah wants ease for you and does not want difficulty. So there are some people who don't have to fast. And we need to find out who they are. Maybe you're one of them. So if you are, then what do you do to partake in this month? Because nobody wants to be left out, inshallah. So what do you do? I remember... I was with um I was early new in Islam a few years in Islam and this family their mom couldn't fast so every day well not every day as many days as I could I could go and and break fast at their house and I got to eat really cool and good food I was a bachelor and she got to participate in Ramadan by feeding me as a fasting person so try to learn about the fiqh or the jurisprudence of fasting how to do it what negates it what adds to it. Um, my name is Abu Hafsa Claire. As you know, hopefully by now, <laughs> I'm always looking for investors. The PayPal link is there. Jazakumullah kulla khairan for listening to me. Uh, take care and stay blessed. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.